Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a fun number theory problem for you. We want to prove that for all natural numbers n, so any positive integer n, there exists a positive integer m of the form this thing here. So it's a bunch of nines, so some number of nines, followed by some number of zeros, such that n divides n. So in other words, m, this guy here, is a multiple of n. Okay, so if you want to have a go at trying to prove this, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to jump straight into a proof. Okay, so there are in fact a few different ways you can solve this problem, but the way I'm going to show you, in my opinion at least, is certainly one of the neatest ways of solving this. Um, what we're going to do is start off by fixing a natural number n. So you give me a natural number n, and then from that I'm going to construct a, an m such that m is a multiple of the n that you gave me. Okay, so firstly I'm going to write down a sequence of n plus 1 uh, numbers. So I'm going to start with a1 being equal to 9, a2 being equal to 99, a3 being equal to 999, and you can see the pattern, so a k is just going to be k nines. So I'm going to continue this up to, all the way up to a n plus 1, which will obviously be 9, 9, a bunch of nines, so that there are n plus 1 nines. Okay, so loads of nines, and there are n plus 1 terms in this sequence, or I'm only considering the first n plus 1 terms. And the reason for that is what we're going to do is actually look at the first n plus 1 terms, but then consider them mod n. Okay, so we're going to consider these mod n. Now, because there are n plus 1 terms here, a1, a2, a3, all the way up to a n plus 1, by the pigeonhole principle, because I'm looking at the mod n, there must be at least two which are the same mod n. Two distinct ai's which are the same mod n. And the reason for that is, as I said, the pigeonhole principle, but if you've not heard of that before, basically when I reduce these mod n, each of these numbers is going to fall into the set 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to n minus 1. So each of them have got n minus 1 choices. Okay, but because I'm considering, sorry, each of them have got n choices because we're including 0 as well. So 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to n minus 1 is a lot of n numbers. But here I've got n plus 1 numbers. So when I look at them mod um, n, they're going to fall into a set of n plus 1 numbers which fall from a set of n numbers. And hence, there must be at least one repetition. Okay, so if that doesn't make any sense, I, I don't think I explained it too well. Uh, but if you, they all falls from the pigeonhole principle. So if you've not heard of that before, go and look it up. But yeah, this is because of the pigeonhole principle. There must be some a i and j distinct such that a i is congruent to a j mod n. So there exists, and I'm going to say without loss of generality, i less than j such that a i is congruent to a j mod n. Cool. Well now, from this, we can actually just go ahead and write down the value of m, or a value of m. I'm going to say m is equal to aj minus ai. Firstly, let's check that it's a multiple of n. So that's equivalent to showing that it's 0 mod n. But m, or this guy here, sorry, is just from the line above. If I bring the, a, the ai onto the right-hand side, aj minus ai is just congruent to 0 mod n, so indeed m is a multiple of n, but also we need to check that it's of the form 999, or a bunch of 9s and then a bunch of zeros. but that's hopefully quite clear just from looking at this. A, j is bigger than i, so that means it's kind of got more 9s um, than, uh, than ai, and then we're subtracting off some tail of that sequence. So perhaps I'll give an example, if j was 3 and i was 1, so then we're looking at 999 minus 9, these 9s kind of cancel. I'm just left with 990. So I get a number of the form. And of course, this applies for any j and i. And of course, we've just made the, without loss of generality assumption that j is bigger than i. Okay, and that solves our problem essentially just using the pigeonhole principle and nothing, you know, nothing too difficult beyond that. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.